all right guys so we're back to talking about mistakes you make that is costing you sales and money daily on whatsapp so the first one we'll be talking about is not knowing who your target audience are you need to know who you are selling to who your target audience are and if you are selling to everybody that is wrong you can't even sell to any everybody i mean so you need to know what products you are doing what is it used for who is it meant for who are those that are supposed to be using it those people are your target audience for instance now i'm selling to you guys as a small business owner entrepreneurs now if it were someone like um me now trying to sell to pepsi it's a lot like those brands no 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 it doesn't make sense selling to those kind of brands you get what i mean so let me say um uh, you're selling luxurious kind of item then your price is charged at maybe 100 to 200k 300k now your target audience can't be students can't be uh, undergraduate university graduate no your target audience should be like corporate workers people that are working in business official business places like those people that ask that luxurious those people that like luxurious things that are working in big, big places that can afford that kind of fee. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So those are the kind of people you should be targeting as your target audience for someone selling a luxurious item, not students. Students, they collect money from their parents or their uncles. They are still being fed from home. Now, do you understand? So that's what knowing your target audience is. So don't continue selling to the wrong people. Look for who your target audience are and attract them and sell to them all right so mistake number two is having low contact list or selling to only friends and family so most times when people say i'm not making sales i do ask how many people are seeing your offers like how many people you don't tell me 10 20 30 no like seriously you need thousands of people to see your offers what has 2 billion people and how many of these people among the 2 billion people are seeing your offers if your contact list is just family and friends you need to grow your contact list so people that are interested in what you do and they will buy from you i'm not saying having your family and friends as your contact list is wrong but what i'm saying is that they won't be the only one to buy from you so to attract selling often as an online person you need strangers different kind of strangers that are interested keyword interested in what you are doing so that they can continuously buy from you that's what we call quality lead if you stay to the end of the class this training i'll teach you how to get quality lead people that will buy and are interested in what you are actually selling sales is a game of number and it's people that are the large numbers that you need to make the bigger sales so the, the larger your number the larger your sales you can keep selling to the same people every day so you need to grow your contact list you need to reach out to more people quality contact list is all you need if you stay to the end of the class as i said i'll show you ways on how to attract and grow your contact list i have an example of a student whereby i was asking her okay now we are done with this what's going on and she was like i'm not making sales and it's not frequent and i'm like okay how many people do you have on your contact list and she said she has just 50 people when we did the audit of the contact list i realized families up to like 35 and strangers are like 15 from course mates and i was like wow no 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 we need to give you a breakdown on how to grow your contact list which i will be sharing with you later on now number three is inconsistency not showing up more often or more regularly it could be through your brand voice posting time and it could be knowing who your audience are and when they show up and posting at that, that period you see an woman will never close a shop just because he didn't make sales the previous day he will always open a shop most times because he didn't make sales the previous day he would open a shop at the very beginning of let's say early hours before his competitors or neighbors will even open just because he knows he can actually make sales during those time but you will never say okay oh, today is rainy i will not open my shops tomorrow is sunny i will not open my my shop it will always come 
online and open a shop that is those that have offline store so you as an online owner you need to show up every day your whatsapp status ought to be showing up that you are online promoting your business talking about it continuously you have to be there you have to show up continuously and stay consistently in the minds of your customer by showing up so that whenever they want to give you recommendation like consistency what it help you do is to give you a recommendation like maybe a friend of them so uh, i need this service they'll be like oh this girl normally show up i see her works and all of that they will recommend you that's what it means by showing up consistently so if you are not consistent is a problem you have to continue being online continuously like every time you have to be online cons- continuously yeah so if one i said it give you recommendation so we know that okay this person is actually doing this and they'll be able to recommend you she you understand look at all these big brands what do we use to know them mt glow all of them they have one unique feature either in their brand voice is either in their um color tone like we have something we use to identify every one of them so that's because they they are also consistent in whatever they are doing so the next one again is no proper content strategy yeah so in this one we're talking about no content strategy Content is key. For it to bring you sales, it must make people to know, like, and trust you. That's the key factor of content. Not knowing you, liking you, and trusting you. People buy from people that they know to the extent. Like, they don't just want to buy from you. It's because they know you to a, a particular point. That's why they're able to relay and buy things from you. A content that will draw attention that will make them buy from you so if you don't have a proper content strategy you need to build one and that will help you too so from your content people will start buying from you then creating a proper content is creating content that relates with you that is people will understand that not uh, come and buy come and buy come and buy but because the proper content is like it include educative content um Creating awareness about the particular things, people are able to learn, people are able to know, get value. They will definitely buy from you as long as they are getting value from what they are seeing in you doing. They will buy from you. So you don't just wake up one morning and post anything. Everything has to be in a strategic manner. It has to be in a proper manner. So everything you do must have a content strategy backing it. Just like the way I said, content draw attention. Proper content is what will make people to understand, um, create relationship and bond with you and I will come and buy from you. Content shouldn't be what you should be stressing about at all. No, content is not something you should be stressing about. You can create relating stories about um, something, about an item. Okay, let's say you sell A. Then you can tell somebody that, okay, if you don't want to use this kind of air you can make use of this um iron to iron your hair or use this straightener to iron your straighten your hair like give them something that they can do and they'll say oh wow or let's say maybe you sell um conditioner for your hair and you have dandruff you can just do a story that okay when you have dandruff this is what you did that's what those influencers do they create relating stories to a particular um advert and you now see it and be like wow so you too you go and try it you go and get it that's because you are able to relate to it so you too you have to be creating content that you can be relating to for your audience to relate to you so they will not be able to say okay i can buy from this person so if you they if you do a content and people are able to relate to you they will definitely buy from you because they know this is what they need or this is what they actually want and you've brought it to their notice from your content do you understand don't stress about content if you need a content plan tailored for your business just send a dm okay so mistake number five all right so for number five the mistake you make joining contact gain groups to increase your contacts guys guys contact gain is not good for you why because are they your target audience like the people that are there are they your target audience are they the people that are interested in what you are selling don't just add 
or grow your contact list just because I want to grow my contact list, I want to have views, I want to let it be people that are actually interested in what you are selling that would buy from you quality people not that i want to grow my contact list no don't be joining those groups just because you want to join uh, grow your contact list or somebody should be viewing your status it should be because people that are interested in viewing your status are viewing your status so they can always know what you are doing and be able to promote you by encouraging or being interactive with what you are doing so Go your contacts with quality people, people that are interested in what you do, guys. Stop joining contact game. Then number six we have is adding people to WhatsApp group without their permission. This one, I even find it offensive a lot. Like, how will you not ask for my permission and you just add me to your group? How are you sure I'm interested in what you are doing? There are many things that is happening already, so why will you want to come and stress me by adding me to group? At least you should be able to tell me, okay, no matter what, just tell me, inform me, don't just add me to a group without making me know. And again, it makes you look cheap. People will feel like, oh, you're just trying to make sales by all means, that you are desperate. It doesn't make sense. So add only people that are interested in what you are doing into group. Don't just add people into group without their um, consent or awareness. I hope you understand. Then mistake number, mistake number seven. Sending boring and annoying broadcast messages. For instance, sending people message that they don't, um, they should help you repost. First of all, like that is wrong. Like it does not, it does not make sense. The thing you can do is that first of all, why not ask them? Oh, hello, how are you doing? How are you long time and stuff like that. Like things like that will make create a bond between you then after the message you can ask oh, can you please help me reply and uh, repost my flyer then they'll be like oh no problem thank you or your friends even your friends sometimes your friend will be like okay no problem that i will do it but i will do it when i when they are having chance to do it but at the end of the day they will end up not doing it like some people don't do it but no hard feeling but the best is always checking on them before you just ask them to repost your flyer at least 80% will do. Hope you understand. So don't just send broadcast message to people without um, having a common interest between one another. It does not make sense. Do you get? Always send them polite greeting, checking on them. Then you cannot ask, uh, can you help me repost my fire? So these are WhatsApp marketing mistakes that is costing you to lose money. So find out which you do and how to correct them. So afterward, you will see how all this will increase your sales by creating proper content, content that attracts sales and converts sales for you. All right, so in the next class, we will be talking about how to make money on WhatsApp at least close to 100k monthly even if you don't have a business yet and if you have a business don't worry we will be discussing about how to grow your business more adding more extra income to your incomes okay so for those that missed this class well sorry anyway that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the section was the biggest lesson and if you have questions go ahead and ask